So our immune system is a remarkable organism. It's designed to respond to anything that is, appears foreign and destroy it. So bacteria, viruses, anything that comes into the body that is perceived as being foreign is uh, selectively eliminated. But cancer cells are, are really different than bacteria um, or viral particles, for example, because cancer cells are, are us. Uh, often referred to them as the teenagers of cells. You know, they're pretty normal, but they behave badly. Lung cancer cells have developed very complex ways in which to hide themselves from our own immune systems. Um, and there are a number of ways that the cancer can signal to the immune system to suppress it. These new immunotherapies work by disrupting that communication between the cancer and the immune system so that now the immune system is no longer actively suppressed and can recognize the cancer as foreign and, and fight it. The part of our immune system that typically will attack a tumor is our white blood cells and a particular subset of our white blood cells called T cells. There's other signals that uh, are used by our body to control that response or control that T cell and those are called checkpoints. These checkpoint inhibitors are being developed to prevent the tumor cell and the T cell from binding together and causing the T cell to go off and die or be exhausted. And so by blocking that the T cell remains activated and, and is able to kill off the tumor cell. Now that we see that we can break that immunosuppression and we can activate the, um, the immune system um, against the cancer and have clinical benefit, real clinical benefit, um, the excitement is high. Understanding how we might be able to combine immune therapies together with targeted therapies, understanding combinations of immune therapies together designed in a rational way, based on our new knowledge of immune suppression within lung cancer, uh, really stands as a, a major research goal for investigators. As our knowledge about the immune system grows, there's more things that can, are being developed to try to prevent the tumor to thwart the immune system. And so it's just the tip of the iceberg.